Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. This week we are working on pattern three, week number three of the Mosaic Native Bliss Cow. And this is a crochet along, so if you are seeing this video for the first time, there are two other videos that were released that you will need to refer back to to get started on your Mosaic shawl, blanket, or scarf. So what you are seeing right here is the pattern that we're going to work on this week. Last week, we ended right here with this pattern. And as you can see, I've got it marked where we're going to be beginning our new design. We are going to be working directly onto our existing work. So if you're wanting to start with this design right here that you're seeing right in front of you, you will definitely need to jump back to video number one, follow the first two rows of instruction, and then you'll join back up with this video. So here is the sample that I have for last week where I left off. So I completed the three full repeats of week two's design, pattern number two. And when you do that, you end on a color B row. So that's really important because this design this week, week three, is going to start out with color A. So make sure that you have ended last week's work with color B. And if you did more or less repeats, that's completely fine. This is what the repeats look like that I completed. Best I can show you anyway. Let me try to raise our camera up. So as you can see, this is what our work is supposed to look like by this point. So that's three full repeats of week two. So we're going to do week three now. And if you are taking a look at what you did in the previous week, so week one, our arrows right here, this kind of arrow and triangle design, um, this was moving in a downward position. Week three is just like week one, except for we're reversing the direction of our work. So this week we're going to be learning to do this little arrow kind of triangle design in the upward position. So it's going to work very, very well with the overall design and coming from this, moving into this design and then back to this gives a really pretty look to your project. So for this week, I'm only going to do one repeat of the design because you will start to recognize we're just doing it in reverse, so you'll really start to recognize what we're doing here. And I feel like being that it's only 10 rows and 12 stitches make up the repeat, you'll be able to catch on very, very quickly. As always, I have the row start times down in the description for you. So if you need a little more help, you can always go down the description. I do tend to teach more in a beginner friendly method, but for these videos, I'm going to only explain the stitch one time, and then we'll be talking in terms of double crochet and single crochet, because that's really what we're doing here. It's just the where we position the stitches is what makes it mosaic happen. This is the overlay mosaic technique. I don't know if I mentioned that in the other videos, but I did want to make sure you guys know that for today. So we are going to get started now with the stitch instruction. As always, down in the description, you will find the colors of the yarn that I'm using, brands and all that information, as well as if you are starting out for the first time using this pattern, you will also find the starting chains in this video for the three different things that you can create using this design and following along with the crochet along. So let's get started, grab your yarn, last week's project and we're going to begin doing our stitches. We are going to begin row one now of pattern number three by doing joining on with our color A. So for me that's the green tone yarn and our repeat for this row begins by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches and that's working in the back loop. So what I mean by that is we're just going to be picking up this back loop only. So we go in there, pick up that back loop, and that's how all of our single crochets throughout the project are done except for the first and last stitch of the row. Those are always traditional single crochets. So we're going to do a total of five. So there's one, two, three, Four. 
four. And five. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the very next stitch. So that's a drop down double crochet. So we wrap our yarn, identify our next stitch, slide down two rows below, picking up this front loop right there. And from here, we just grab and pull up a loop, nice loose tension, grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. And that's our double crochet throughout the entire project. The very next stitch, we're going to do a back loop single crochet. Now we are going to do one more double crochet. And we're going to end the repeat by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches. Picking up that back loop. There's one. two, three, and four. That ends our repeat for row one. So we're gonna recap that repeat. It's very, very simple. We started over here by doing five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and four single crochets ends the repeat. So if you take a look at where we're positioning these stitches, you're essentially just finishing out the top of the diamond from the previous pattern. So you'll be working single crochets across this wide section and your kind of landmark is when you get here to the double crochet from the previous row, that's where we're going to frame out doing a double crochet, single crochet on top of it, double crochet right beside it. So you can keep working that exact same manner on down the rest of your project and then meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number two. Remember, as always in this pattern, when we get down here to the end of our row, we will be finishing up doing our repeat and then we will start the repeat again for one stitch and then do our traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. Row two begins now we begin by joining on color B this time into the first stitch of the row with the traditional single crochet. Now our repeat for row number two will begin. We're going to begin the repeat by doing six single crochets over the next six stitches. Just picking up that back loop. So here's number one. Two. three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do one of our double crochets right here. So right here in the center of the previous rows double crochets. We're going to complete one double crochet. And then to end our repeat, we're going to do a total of five single crochets over these next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And that ends the repeat for row number two. So let's recap that. Our repeat began over here with a total of six single crochets, one double crochet right there in the center, followed by five single crochets to end the repeat. So you're gonna begin again doing six single crochets across this section. And when you get here to the center of the diamond, especially the peak of the diamond, in between the two double crochets from the previous row, that's where you're going to be doing your drop down. So if you just follow along, and drop down right there in that center, you will be perfect for this entire row. So please pause here and we'll meet back up when you are ready 
for row number three. We're here at the end of row three, or I'm sorry, row two, about to begin row three. And I just wanted to show you real quick, I have just completed a repeat and I have the two stitches left, just like I mentioned. So I start the repeat again for one stitch. It's kind of just a reminder for those of you not as familiar. Start the repeat again. And then I know the last stitch of the row is a traditional single crochet going under the V. So we just make sure that we do that. And then I chain up two and clip my yarn at that point. So you can bind off however you prefer, but that's my preferred method. So that was just to give you a visual on what I mean by starting the repeat again. That's how you're going to do this entire pattern all the way from pattern one to pattern number four. Row three begins now and we are joining on this time with color A. So that's green for me. We're going to begin the repeat for row number three with one single crochet worked in the very next stitch. We're just going to identify that very next stitch and do a single crochet. Now we're going to do one double crochet right there in the very next stitch. We're going to do three single crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, We will now do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch. One single crochet right here on top of this double crochet from the previous row. Very next stitch. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch. We are now going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. Just one, two, three. We will now do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch to end our repeat. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with one single crochet. We did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet when we got there to the peak. One single crochet on top of the previous work or double crochet from the previous work. One double crochet, three single crochets, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. I'm going to do this repeat with you one more time. You, of course, can always just rewind if you prefer just to watch this a few times over but we're going to do it one more time i'm going to begin the repeat for row three again now by doing one single crochet here into the very next stitch we are now going to do one double crochet here into the very next stitch and just slide straight down to pick up that front loop now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. And at this point, you want to make sure that you look back here and make sure you see that there's one stitch back there that the double crochet covers so you don't get your count off. So now we're doing our three single crochets. There's one. Two. And three. And our repeat will end by doing one double crochet into the very next stitch. So 
So if you take a look at what you're doing here, when you start your repeat again for the third time on this row for me, it will finish up the top of the kind of peak of the diamond. And then we will be adding in this little square shape in the center of this triangle section from the previous work. So you may pause here and continue to work in the exact same manner doing your one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet over and over until you have finished this row. Here's what our work looks like after completing row number three. That's this green row for me, done there in color A. And as you can see, when you were working it, you were doing the three single crochets, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, then three single crochets, repeating the double crochet sequence again. Essentially just doing the sets of three, creating a square. Set of three, creating a square. Set of three, and then we end the repeat. We have one stitch left, so we start over with our single crochet, and then we do our traditional single crochet there in the last stitch. So hopefully this was a pretty easy row for you. We're gonna move on now to row number four. Row four begins now. We will begin by joining on with color B, and the repeat for row four will begin immediately by doing one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and two. Two double crochets over these next two stitches. One. And number two, very next stitch. Three single crochets over these next three stitches. One. Two and three. And we will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. One, two, and the repeat will end by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. So let's recap that repeat. We began row four over here by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and then two single crochets. So you're gonna start working back over in that exact same manner, beginning again with your double crochet and following that whole sequence on down over and over until you reach the end of your row. And then of course you will finish up with two stitches left, starting your repeat again for one stitch. And then a traditional single crochet will be done in the very last stitch. So you can pause here and we'll be back when you are ready to move on to row number five. Here's our work after completing row number four. We are now going to begin row five by joining on with color A. So for me, that's the green yarn. We're going to start the repeat immediately for row number five by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. So we're just gonna identify that very next stitch and do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, our second single crochet. Now we will do one double crochet in the very next stitch. So 
followed by three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. We will now do one double crochet right there in the very next stitch. So that's there in the center of that diamond shape. One double crochet. Followed by three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. One double crochet in the very next stitch. And we will end the repeat for row five with one single crochet in the very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with two single crochets. We then did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet right there at the peak, three single crochets, one double crochet. We end the repeat with one single crochet. So you're simply just gonna start your repeat again with two single crochets, one, and two, one double crochet, three single crochets over the next three stitches, one, two, and three, one double crochet in the very next stitch, three single crochets over the next three stitches, one, two, And three. One double crochet in the very next stitch. And the repeat ends again for row five with one single crochet. So you're going to pause here and keep working on down that same set of stitches and we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number six. Row six begins by joining on with color B this time, and we're going to begin the repeat for row six immediately by doing two double crochets over the next two stitches. There's number one. and number two in the very next stitch. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One, and two. Followed by two double crochets over the next two stitches. One, and two. We will do one single crochet over the very next stitch, or into the very next stitch, and two double crochets over the next two stitches. One, and two. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One, and 
two. And we will end the repeat for row six by doing one double crochet right here over the very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row six began over here with two double crochets, followed by two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, and one double crochet to end that repeat. So you're going to start over with your two double crochets and continue on down in that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we'll be meeting back up when you are ready to move on to row number seven. Here's what our work looks like after completing row number six. We're now going to work on row number seven. We are joining on with color A this time. So that is the green tone yarn for me. And we're going to begin the repeat for row seven with three single crochets over these next three stitches. So we're just going to identify that very next stitch. Pick that up and do our back loop only single crochet. There's one, two, and three. We will now do one double crochet in the very next stitch. Five single crochets over these next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. We will do one double crochet here in the very next stitch. We will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. And that is the end of the repeat for row seven. So let's take a look at our, re our recap, our repeat. <laughs> our repeat for row seven began over here with three single crochets. We then did one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet and the repeat ends with two single crochets but if you start your repeat again that's what you're supposed to do start it again it starts with three single crochets so one two and three and then we do one double crochet you will notice that what you're really doing all down this row is a total of five single crochets, one double crochet. Because when we get right here, we need to work five single crochets across this section, followed by one double crochet. So that combination at the beginning of the row of the three single crochets, and then the two single crochets that we end the repeat with, it's five. So work in sets of five single crochets, one double crochet, all the way down the rest of your row now that we're set up and your row will turn out perfectly that exact repeat doesn't matter as much because if we just keep working the five single crochets one double crochet from this point forward we will be completely fine and our row will turn out just like it needs to so that's a little cheater method for this row so you can pause here and come meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number eight. Row eight begins now by joining on with color B. And this is another really easy row. We're going to get started with our repeat for row eight immediately. We're going to do three double crochets over these next three stitches. So we're starting right here in the very next stitch. We're going to do our first double crochet. There's number one. Now we need to do number two. Three. 
and number three. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. So one and two. We need to do three double crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and two. And our repeat will end with two double crochets over these next two stitches. And that ends the repeat for this row. So you're gonna recap that repeat real quick. We begin the repeat with three double crochets, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets. So we're gonna do this repeat one more time because when we do our three double crochets, starting over, repeat for row eight, with three double crochets, there's one, two, and three. Now we'll do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One, and two. Then we do three double crochets over the next three stitches, one, two, and three. Two single crochets over the next two stitches. And then two double crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And that ends the repeat second time around for row number eight. But if you take a look at what you're really doing for those of you doing the larger projects, you are doing five double crochets here in this triangle that we're creating. And then you're separating, doing two single crochets, three double crochets, which is getting here at the peak of the little arrow shape that we're making, and then two single crochets. So really you can look at it as you're doing five double crochets, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, all the way down the entire row. So those sets, you're just working here to get to the center that's where you're filling in with your double crochets. And every set of double crochet that you make like this is just separated by the two single crochets. Hopefully that's not confusing. For those of you who want to go by the specific repeat, you're doing three double crochets, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, and two double crochets. And then starting all that back over again. So if you take a look, that's what you're doing. So we'll be pausing here and you can come meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row number nine. We've got nine and 10 left and then we're done. This is what our work looks like after completing row number eight. We're now moving on to row nine by joining on with color A this time around. So for me, I've joined on doing my traditional single crochet with color A, which is green. We begin the repeat for row, row number nine now by doing four single crochets over the next four stitches. Get these tails all out of the way. 
So we begin. There's one. Two. Three. And four. We will do one double crochet in the very next stitch. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one. Two. And three. One double crochet right here. Very next stitch. And we will do three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, three, to end our repeat. So let's recap that repeat. We did four single crochets right here to start out our row. One double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets. So you're gonna begin over again by doing your four single crochets over those next four stitches. So essentially what you're gonna do, we're gonna do this one again together. We're gonna to start round nine or row nine, I mean, four single crochets, the repeat, one, two, three, and four. Then we will do one double crochet, three single crochets. So take a look at where we're at. We're gonna work three single crochets right there across the top of this little arrow. One, two, and three. And we will do one double crochet again. And then we're gonna work single crochet straight across this section, doing a double crochet again right here. So if you take a look at what you're really doing, your four single crochets that you begin the repeat with and the three single crochets that you end it with, seven single crochets across here. And then we do framework around these sections where we have our three double crochets. So you do a double crochet in front of it, single crochets across the top, double crochet right immediately after it. And then it's back to doing single crochets. So to end this repeat, I'd be doing three single crochets over the next three stitches. But I know that I've got to begin with four when I start over again. So I'm just going to work seven straight across and then double crochet, three single crochet, double crochet. And then I start single crochets again. So hopefully that's not confusing anyone. I apologize if it does, but that's how I go about doing these and more of like looking for the landmark that tells me what to do rather than always keeping my count. So we're going to pause here and we'll be back for round 10 or row 10 in just a moment. We are now moving on to row number 10. This is joining on with color B this time. So for me, that's the blue tone yarn. And our repeat for row 10 begins with four of our double crochets. So we're going to immediately begin doing double crochets, total of four, over the next four stitches. Let's get into camera. All right, so we're going to do double crochet. So here's number one. Number two. Three. And four. Now we will do two single crochets over the next two stitches. 
one, and two, one double crochet right here, in the peak of that little triangle that we're making, arrow, one double crochet. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches, one, and two, and we will end the repeat by doing three double crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. So let's recap that repeat. We began over here with four double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you can pause here and keep working in that same set of stitches. I'm gonna do the repeat one more time with you. We're going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. One double crochet right there in the top of that little arrow. Two single crochets. One and two. And our repeat will end with three double crochets. But since we know that we are doing um, the repeat over and it begins with the four double crochets, really you can work these solid sections just by doing seven double crochets straight across. And then you'll do two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and then your seven again, because you'll be another one of the solid triangle sections that's pointing downward. If that helps anyone anyway. <laughs> I don't know if it does. <laughs> you can just follow that set repeat and go back to the beginning of this row. You can hit the little rewind back in the description and just ignore this part <laughs> if you need to. Um, but I'm finishing up the row with you guys. So since this is our last row, so now I've just done this triangle section. So I know I'm here again at the peak of this. So I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. And then one double crochet right there in the center. And I know when I'm doing the one double crochet, I need two single crochets after it before I hit another section where I'm just doing straight double crochets across. So let's take a look. We're down here at the end of the row. So if you're not ready for this, then by all means, please pause and come back in just a moment when we talk about your homework. But I'm going to finish up the row. So I'm doing three double crochets and then the repeat starts over for one stitch if I was not counting at all I would just do four double crochets and then my single crochet but for those of you who need to understand the ends of the row we have two stitches left our repeat starts over for one stitch so that's a double crochet in this case and then we do our traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. So let's talk about the homework. Pause here if you're not ready for this. If you need to finish up your row, 
but for those of you who were doing the scarf version and just finished your entire row 10 with me, what we're going to be doing and working off camera until next week is we're going to actually rewind this video back to row one and you're going to complete row one through row 10 two more times. So you'll have three total repeats of this new design before we can move on to week number four, pattern number four. So your homework is to go ahead and finish up two more full repeats. So exactly what we showed in this video, you're going to do it two more times. That's row one in the video through row 10. So we'll be, we'll be ending on a blue row, or I'm sorry, a B row, I should say. For me, it's blue, but yours can be a different color. So you'll be ending with color B when you finish your third repeat of this design. You, of course, can always do more repeats if you want. Just make sure that you end by doing one full repeat and ending on row 10, which is done in color B. And finish up your work. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I know I've enjoyed filming it, and I hope you are enjoying the Native Bliss Shaw series and this crochet along. If you do enjoy it, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so. You can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a Mosaic Monday. And I do other tutorials for wearables and other things as well. And you can find all of that in the playlist section here on my channel. As always, I appreciate you so much for watching. And feel free to leave me a comment down below with any questions. And until next time, bye for now.